Good morning, children. This is Hemlata. Welcome to class seven IIT Physics class. Children, we were doing laws of motion. Is it now? Uh, last class we discussed Newton's first law of motion, and today also we will discuss on Newton's first law of motion only. Okay. So let's start today's class. You can see in your screen. First is some observations. observed by newton first is what if a body is at rest it remains at rest unless a force is applied on it okay so children you can see suppose any object any book or any ball you keep it on a table okay and observe it the body is in which position rest position in the rest state and unless you are not applying any force on that body body not comes in motion you observe the body for 5 minutes 1 hour or full day also unless you won't apply any force on the body it will not move is it true yes or no so any body is at rest remains at rest unless a force is applied on it second observation is what if a body is moving suppose ball rolling on the ground body, body is moving it will continue to move with the same velocity in the same direction unless a force is applied on it is it so what you will think ball suppose rolling on the ground after some time it slow down and stop is it or not so reason is there force is applying on the body what is that external force that is force of friction whenever a body a ball rolls on ground so from the opposite direction force is applying applied on the body that is a natural force that is a frictional force which always opposes the motion and due to frictional force only ball slow down and stop if there is no frictional force in the nature ball will never stop it continues in same velocity in same direction got it children so these are the observations okay newton put the above observations in the form of a law so newton observed these things and he form a law and that is called newton's first law of motion so what is newton's first law of motion <coughs> according to newton's first law of motion if a body is in the state of rest it will remain in the state of rest and if it is in state of motion it will remain moving in the same direction with the same velocity unless an external force is applied on it okay so this is what newton's first law of motion i think you are very clear about newton's first law of motion if a body is in rest it continues in rest unless you are not applying any force on the body to bring it in motion it will continue in rest or if the body is in motion it continues in motion with same velocity in same direction unless any external force is not applied on it to slow down it or to stop it that is newton's first law of motion clear children a book lying on a table top will remain placed at its place unless it is displaced unless you are not applying body uh, any force to displace it it will remain in in, in which state rest it similarly a ball rolling on a horizontal plane keeps on rolling unless the force of friction between the ball and plane stop it okay it continues so next is the property of an object by virtue of which it neither changes its present state nor it tends to change the present state is called inertia 
it is an inherent property of each object every body children every body is having this property called inertia due to inertia body which never change its state or tends to change its state okay it always body is in which state it continues in that state if the body is in rest it continues in rest or if the body is in motion it continues in motion okay it never try to change its state unless any external force is not applied to change its state this property of the object any body is called inertia so newton's first law of motion contains two definition children okay that is definition of inertia and definition of force clear newton's first law of motion includes two definitions first is inertia second is force so now only we discussed about inertia next is what force so what is force force is the external cause which tends to change the state of rest or state of motion of an object okay now a push or pull okay which can change the state of the body is called force an external cause force is which type of quantity a vector quantity the sum of two equal and opposite force is always zero suppose from right side 5 newton and from left side also 5 newton so equal and opposite forces so their sum will be always zero so a body acted upon by several forces and can also have the resultant net force on it equal to zero when suppose a body is there on that body different direction so many forces are acting but still body is not moving resultant is why because the resultant force is zero all the sum of all the forces becomes zero then the body will not move <coughs> now next is what is the relation between mass and inertia children we were now only we studied now what is inertia inertia is an inherent property of each body every body is having this tendency tendency to resist the change okay if a body is in rest it tries always to be in rest and if the body is motion it always tries to be in motion it always every body every body resist the change and this tendency of the body is called inertia so what is the relation between mass and inertia mass is a um, we can say a measure of inertia okay what is mass it is a measure of inertia more mass of the body more inertia less mass of the body less inertia the greater the mass greater is the inertia of a body lighter body has less inertia than the heavier body okay so in other words we can say mass of the body more if more mass of the body it is difficult to move the body suppose a big 10 kg bag is there and 1 kg bag is there okay just listen children two bags are there one is of 1 kg bag another is of 10 kg bag both are lying okay on the ground now it is very easy to move 1 kg bag from its place why because its mass is less less mass less inertia inertia means what tendency to resist the change okay so less tendency to resist the change so easily you can move it but another bag is of 10 kg more mass more mass more inertia more tendency to resist the change that's why it is difficult to move 10 kg back from it place so mass is what measure of inertia more mass more inertia less mass less inertia clear children now 
there is one example on newton's first law of motion suppose when a train suddenly start moving forward the passenger standing in the compartment tends to fall backwards okay what is the reason suppose a body suppose the train is in rest position not moving rest position passenger when passenger standing in the uh, inside the train also in the rest position okay the whole part of the body is also in rest position but when the train suddenly start moving forward so what happens train came in motion the lower part of the body okay the lower part of the body which is attached with the train also comes in motion okay that also shares the motion when the train suddenly start train comes in motion lower part of the passenger's body also shares the motion and comes in motion but the upper part due to inertia of rest remain same in the state of rest okay so that's why the lower part of the body move forwards okay whereas the upper part of the body tends to fall backwards clear children understood so that is what inertia of rest inertia there are two types of inertia inertia of rest and inertia of motion clear so inertia of rest when a body is in rest position tries to be in rest okay it um, resist the change that is what inertia of rest one more example we will see so you can see when a smooth card placed over the mouth of a tumbler is flicked sharply in the horizontal direction the card flies away but the coin kept over the card falls into the tumbler you can see this is a tumbler okay on this there is a card on that card there is a coin is placed when you will flick this card like this so what happened card flies away but the coin falls in the tumbler what is the reason the reason is when you will flick the card card comes in motion but what about the coin coin still remain in the state of rest okay it inner because of inertia of rest okay in the coin tries to be in the state of rest that's why it fall in the tumbler clear now next is inertia of motion what is inertia of motion a body in a state of motion possesses inertia of motion whenever a body is in motion it possesses inertia of motion is it it always tries to be in motion and it continues to be in the state of motion with the same speed in the same direction in a straight line unless an external force is not applied on it to change its state this property of a body is called inertia of motion inertia of motion means when the body is in motion it always tries to be in motion clear on the inertia of motion there is one more example when a running car stops suddenly the passenger tends to lean forward okay running car running car means car is in which state motion running car means a car which is in motion if the car is in motion the driver the passenger is also in the motion okay but when it stops suddenly the car comes in the rest and the lower part of the body of the passenger also comes in rest but the upper part of the body is still in motion okay that's why the passenger lean forward because upper part of the body is in motion okay but lower part of the body comes in rest lower part of the body as being in contact with the car comes to rest 
but the upper part of the body remain in the state of motion so due to inertia of motion the passengers tends to lean forward like that one more is there a cyclist riding along a level road does not come to rest immediately after he stop pedaling so it is not like this another question another examples also like that is there Ex example suppose you are running when you run and after that when you tries to stop okay, when you stop you can't stop your body suddenly okay it, you can't stop your body suddenly so it will take some time to stop your body you will move of course forward because of inertia of motion okay the reason is bicycle continues to move due to inertia of motion okay even after cyclist stop pedaling but it comes to rest afterwards as a result of retarding action of force suddenly it can't stop okay so due to inertia of motion if you stop paddling also it will stop after some time okay so that is what inertia of motion clear children so today what we discussed we discussed newton first law of motion okay and then the first law of motion newton's first law of motion consists definition of inertia and definition of force then we discussed mass is a measure of inertia next inertia of rest and inertia of motion clear once again i will tell you children you must listen the class till end two to three times then well you can understand it and you must write the notes when the video is playing you pause the video and write the notes after writing only you continue the video okay and if any doubt is there please post your doubt this is for today thanks for watching